Oh, mm. hi there. Mm. We're just, you know, reminiscing about Malik. No. But also really good. Yes. Not we so loved it. not so no, but also lots of cheers. And what day is it? Mm. It's Roswell <laughs> Recap. <laughs> it do be the Roswell Recap. The Roswell Recap. <laughs> thinking about it I'm like I don't know I honestly don't know it's just like you're just feeling it you're feeling my it was just it, well, it was Alex saying when he was like you're my family like yeah. that just cut me like uh. real deep and you know like it was a struggle it's like he's been thinking that and been wanting to say it but like he just couldn't oh keep God. it in like I want to cry and, to then, you. <laughs> and then he's like no but you're my family I can't lose you yeah and then well and then even just the whole thing with Michael and his mom just because Michael Blamus is just so good and just yes. all of his emotions like Damn, I was Michael. already like literally crying and then it just like got worse well okay. and then in him saying like I don't love you and but then of course Alex saw through it yes so it was fine right. calling him a liar it's like we know <laughs> exactly. he's trying to save your life exactly so it was fine even though it still cut real deep but just ev- that whole it scene did, was man. just like I just couldn't I just couldn't. Yeah. We're not going to go in order with this episode. Clearly. Because we just had to hit the highlights, man. And so Michael found his mom. And how tragic. Oh, my God. To see, first of all, I was like, oh, is that his dad? Because, like, from afar, like, I mean, she just was withered away. Like, yeah. she was literally nothing. And I couldn't even tell, like, what gender she was yeah. or anything. And, um, yeah, and then just that. It, it, that was just really painful to see that, to see all of those aliens in there and to, yeah, they've been tested for decades. Tortured, basically. Tortured for decades. And kept in captivity, I mean, oh my God. And especially for Michael to be the one to find them. Yes. When he has yes. cared so much about finding out where he came from. Yes. Finding out, you know, where his people are. Yeah. Like, they thought that they've been alone, and here were a bunch of them, and they were all locked up. It's kind of like... And not what... even very far. No. Right. It's to know th- That's the thing. It's like, to know that your mom, you actually had a mother, she wasn't that far away from you, and that's what she endured all of this And time. she loved you. Yes. Like, that's kind of the thing that I loved about it. Yes. Was as hard as it was, like, you could tell, like... He got something that he needed. Yes, for sure. And so that was important. And even though it was sad, it was kind of a bittersweet. Yeah. Because at least he did get to see her. And he, you know, that little kind of flashback with her, you know, and him as a kid and her younger. Like, you could tell she had so much she wanted to say. And, like, which she didn't get to, but she could emote it. Yes. You could tell, like, she's just trying to be like, I love you. And I. Yes, through feeling, she was able to communicate. Yes. Yeah, and so that's so important for him, mm-hmm. and arguably is going to drive him now down this kind of new path, I think, that sure. obviously opposing Max, and just kind of like, he's tired of waiting, he waited around, and this is what happened. Like, he yes. could have found them yes. sooner. Yes, and the stakes are way higher now, especially knowing like what the government has been doing with their kind, and that's the thing, is like... Isabel and Max have been so safe. They have a really safe home, and that's how they've been brought up. Michael's been the one that's really, like, known what the real world is like. Right. And now to even see this is taking it even more extreme. Mm. So, yeah, he's going to act super rash and crazy and be upset. And he's, he's like, humans are bad. Yes. Yeah. Basically. And I need answers. I need Mm. to know what the hell has been going on. Who are the, like, why was my, who, I saw my mom. Tell me about that. You know, tell me, I need to know all this stuff. And that's the thing. That's what's frustrating. It's like, I don't I don't blame him. And that's really hard because <sighs> Noah's a it's bad dangerous. man. It's dangerous. It's a dangerous game that they're playing. It absolutely is. But 
that's Michael's game. It is Michael's game. That is Michael. He's the dangerous, dangerous game. Man. That's why mm-hmm. he's the best. Mm-hmm. Is. But I will say, I feel like Max got some edge this episode. He did. I like edgy Max. Yeah, I like it way more than just Mopey. weepy Max. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. him actually being like so kind of like snarling like mm-hmm. just and it wasn't unattractive it wasn't it's a, almost you know, animalistic like yeah. like that alien side that like mm-hmm. is coming alive and stuff in moments and I think Liz is the only anchor that he has to his human side mm-hmm. you at know? this point at this point right yeah but obviously no one knows how to bring that out of him oh, we're yeah. already seeing that right and I'm almost like why do you want to Mm-hmm. It's like he just wants to kill you. Like I'd probably try to calm him down. I think we don't we don't know all the details. Yeah. We just a know what Noah has said, mm-hmm. and we just don't know what their connection is with him. Like obviously we know that they are refu- refugees. Mm-hmm. There was a war that happened on their planet. They came to this one to find safe passage and whatever. They they wrecked, and then freaking annihilated. Like, as soon as they got off the ship. Yeah, that was an interesting little detail. Yeah. Because in the original, it was just, you know, the aliens. Yeah. The, the ones just that the we four. basically know. Yeah. And to go from that to, like, full on, like, a, a caravan. Genocide. Basically. And it's just, well, obviously they took some in captivity. Right. And but then, then they killed the rest. Yeah, killed the rest and then a couple escaped. Mm-hmm. And Noah mentioned, it was very briefly, but he mentioned he was almost like the peasant mm-hmm. of the crew. Mm-hmm. And his his pod got wrecked, you know, during the travel or whatever. And so that's why his yeah, whole... his pod was like weaker than theirs. Mm-hmm. Um, but he was also being like, hey, like your guys were, were hid away for a reason. Mm-hmm. They were hid in a special place. Like mm-hmm. there's a reason for that. Don't you want to know who yes. you are? Oh, and don't we, we maybe kind of know There's who the they care. are? I mean, if they're going, if they go down that, if Let's they're go down going that. down the path of the original, mm-hmm. which I think is from the books, is it? I think so. I, mean, I haven't read the books, but I've read a couple like synopsis, mm-hmm. synopsises. Mm-hmm. I don't know uh, the correct conjugation, um, but yeah, I I think it is a part of the book, so they could do that. And it would make sense why you could talk about him being a peasant. Yes. So that means that they yes. are not he's peasants. Lower. He's lower. Which also could be this, like, why he feels like he has to prove himself constantly and one-up them and be more powerful and stuff like that. Because if you have lived your whole life as a peasant and now you suddenly got this power and authority, mm-hmm. I get it. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. I guess I do get it, but I also hope they're not trying to, like make it all okay. Oh, yeah. Like, there were certain things... Yeah. Like, they were saying, like, yeah, he's terrible, but we don't want to let him die, and blah, blah. And I'm worried that if they do save him, that they're somehow going to find a way to, like, make him redeemable, mm-hmm. and then you're like, dude, he's killing people. So yeah. I'm hoping they don't do that. I'm fine if he's, like, alive as long as he's still, like... And that's he a- can't, like, turn and be a part of the crew later. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, and the way that he... He's so cold in talking to Isabel Mm -hmm. and so psychopathic, too, in the way that he talks with her. That I'm like, I can't see him being at all redeemed. No, I can't either. But it just makes me... Yeah. It just in shows like this. Mm -hmm. They just try to... They like to have that redemption arc. And so I'm hoping they don't do that, but you never know. Who knows? You never know. And, like, especially... I don't know, just for them to not just outright kill him, I'm just like... Yeah. Well, I mean, we saw in the promo shenanigans, obviously, Mike, well, at the end, Michael's like, screw you, Max, man, like, I'm gonna take this antidote, and I'm gonna use it, and Max is like, hey, I'm gonna pull out my gun, and I'm gonna shoot you if you do that, so, whew, stand still, but I have a feeling somehow that antidote's gonna get into Noah, and then shit hits the fans. Oh, yeah. I definitely think that's gonna happen. I mean... It's very, um, there's a thing in the theater, um, I believe it's a Chekhov thing, Anton Chekhov, we're going way back to Russia, um, and he had a thing, uh, I I believe it's called Chekhov's Gun, Uh uh-huh, was this Arthur Miller, oh god, I'm getting confused, oh no, I think it's Chekhov, Uh anyway, and it was like, you never put a gun on the wall in act one unless you plan to use it in act three. Mm. So it's like don't. So it's that's kind of how I feel about this antidote. We're not. Yeah. Why have this whole thing like, oh, where's the antidote? Who has yeah, the antidote? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're not going to use it, right? Right. So mm-hmm. I think it's definitely going to get used. 
Yeah, for sure. Or like with struggle bus between them and then somehow Noah's gonna end up getting mm-hmm. it or yes. whatever. Somehow. Somehow. Somehow, he's, somewhere. I mean, he's weak, but he's also stronger than they are, so who the fuck knows? Right. Well, and it's the sort of thing, like you said, just getting caught off guard. Maybe Michael goes in there trying to threaten him or something. Yeah. And Noah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. he's, you know, Michael is so rash. And easily, in this moment, easily manipulated in that, like, especially if, like, Noah brings up his mom. Like, he could even be flat out lying. But just, like, sure. bringing up the mom and, like, saying, like, I knew her. Like, we were really close. Mm-hmm. Blah, blah, blah. Like, pulling at those heartstrings. Yeah. Making Michael even more vulnerable. Yeah. Yeah. It just can go it, so many ways. It really could. And, I mean, again, we had another teaser that didn't tell us too much. We had Thor in there, apparently. Yeah. Getting some lightning. Yeah. That was a choice. <laughs> that was interesting. But we'll see. I don't think I've seen that before. I guess it's Unless you're the god of thunder. Oh, hello. Oh, Nice hey. to meet you. We left behind a war-torn, desolate planet in search of a place to call home. After all this time, I never realized what he was. There's something my dad wanted me to know. This is the end of Noah's story. Not until I get some answers. Not until I know the truth. We had this bro trip. Yeah. Yeah, we had sexy Kyle Valenti and some Malik's mixed in. They're going to this prison. Prison boys. Ooh, Ooh, don't drop the soap. (laughs) <laughs> or do drop the soap. Or do. If you're into that. Ooh. If you'd like. <laughs> Jesus. God love. Yeah, but so we get to the we get to the prison. It's government conspiracy 101. Yeah, you go to this building and it's like decrepit and seems vacant. Mm-hmm. But. Okay, but so he has like this whole like thermal detector. Yeah. And yeah. then like. They're like, there's nobody there. And then they're there. And they're like, oh, there's somebody here. I'm like, where the fuck were they? <laughs> like, where were they that you didn't see them this whole time? Were they wearing, like, lead blankets so that you couldn't, like, detect them? Like, that was kind of, like, really... Well, I, I don't know if, like, that... Fa- Do you mean, because, like, that facility probably does block their abilities, obviously, like, with how it's built. But they were inside of it for a while, and he was like... Oh, and he was like, oh, somebody's coming. I was like, how did you, Oh, like, but not... it was Michael. Remember? Because Michael was peeing. No, no, no. When they're inside. When, they're, oh, when his brother gotcha. came. Yeah, when okay. his brother came. He was You're all right. like, he was like, oh, somebody's coming. I'm like, wouldn't you have, like, known? Wouldn't you have, like, seen all these people? I don't You're know. Right. I don't know how the technology works. I mean, Alex has some crazy tech. Obviously, so, right. That's crazy, crazy. And it was cool because you're like, oh, you kind of think of him as being that kind of tech guy, but then he was like, nah, I got skills. He got some moves. Oh, and he was all like, he's like some freaking Liz oh. or tech guy up in he there. He was, but at least it makes oh. sense that it he does, has that training. He was actually in the military. Yeah, Liz. If you have three degrees as one of them, like in karate, like mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't understand how you have all these skills. We just need to know if you have a black belt. And can you it. can you really get three degrees in like ten years? I guess you can. I mean, if she just studies all the time, it takes more than eighteen hours. Yeah, I, guess I know that's people true. that did it. Well, when you have no life, like Liz Ortega. Uh huh. Sad. Anyway, um, <laughs> so so yeah, in the facility, there's his Alex's brothers there, and he's all like, mm, "I tried to protect you from our father. He was a dick." And Alex is like, "You didn't do shit for me." And then, like, his brother's like, I'm going to kill you. And Alex is like, whoa. I was like, dude, like. <laughs> Can we not? We don't really like each other. But, like, I wasn't thinking, like, you were going to, like, actually kill me. Right. Like, like, straight up. But then, when, like, the warning goes off, then they're just like, oh, we got to go. Yeah. I'm like, you still would Why wouldn't you? <sighs> it's just, just because something worse happens, don't you, shouldn't you still, like, be like, I'm going to kill you? Like, why does, like, impending doom mean, like, you're not going to bother? I guess he's just, like. I'm just saving my own neck, so, like... But if he could literally just shot him in the head and gone. He probably... I mean, he could have... I don't know. I'm just, like, that... It was just a cop But that's out. also his brother. Like, it, it would take at least a few seconds to kind of be, like... Okay. You know, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know their... I don't know their relationship. Yeah, because this is a character that they were, you know, introduced yeah. in the, the midnight hour here, people. Yeah. Not a good plan. Hard to... Mm-hmm. know anything about you we don't care like, yeah we yeah. have our people yeah. over it also no maria this episode so that means she still doesn't know 
about them being aliens. <laughs> they didn't make it seem like anything's happening next week with her, so. Oh my god. Jeez, old Pete. Maria, girl. The struggle is real. We're just fighting for you, Maria. We really are. Totally. There's only so much we can do. Girl, you got some intuition. Use it, okay? Yeah. Find out about these aliens. Fort. <sighs> so we had some. An, an interesting scene with Isabel and Liz, I felt like. That was really good. I really liked that. And I think it was especially important for them because they've had a pretty bumpy relationship. Mm -hmm. um, even discounting that now, obviously, we know that Isabel did not kill Rosa. Or she right. technically did, but she was not herself. Right. Um, so, obviously, Liz is not mad at her for that anymore. Right. But Liz knows that Liz sent her away. Like, there's still kind of issues. And then Liz, sure. of course, or um, Isabel just presents Liz for a number of reasons. Right. Taking her brother away and blah, blah, blah. So um, it was a really good moment for them because it's really, like, the only, um, the only alien that Liz hasn't connected with, really. Yeah, Because, sure. obviously, her and Max be touchy-touchy. Her and Michael be learny, learny, mm -hmm. and now her and Isabel are like cry, cry, or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> like, cry, cry. cry. <laughs> they're like, how do we deal with all this stuff and losing someone? And yeah, um, especially because we talked episodes ago, kind of about how this season very much feels like it is like Liz dealing with grief. Yes, and kind of like she didn't really deal with it because she just like left. Yeah, so for her to kind of past the torch kind of be like this is kind of mm -hmm. what I've learned like mm -hmm. what Which do was you finding need? the truth is mm -hmm. what she was saying is that me knowing the truth is really what healed me like I'm always going to live with that obviously but that's how I was able to like really heal and move forward mm -hmm. not backwards yeah so which is yeah what Isabel needed to hear yeah so that was like a cool kind of reversal of, and just Isabel is such a kind of know-it-all character. Totally. So for her to kind of like get some advice and take it and use it was really cool. And it was, it was a good moment for them. It, for it sure. was. Yeah. And it was after that moment. And then she was like, okay, I'm going in. I need to talk to Noah. Max, shut up. Right. Like, I'm sitting down. Yeah. I need to know things from him. And even Liz saying, like, Max, she needs to do this. Yeah. Like, Liz yes. being in Isabel's corner and, like, yes. taking her side over Max. Yes. Was yep. another, you know. And it'll be something that'll be good for Max and Liz's relationship later because mm -hmm. means Isabel will be less resistant because she will right. be grateful to Liz. And then yep. they can be one big happy alien family. Oh, we love it. All the touchy-touchy. Ooh. I mean, Isabel might be into that. She was on the some stuff. I know. But... Maybe Isabel and Maria can get together. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, single I'd be, ladies. I'd be here for that. Well, we don't know. We don't know where this is going to go. I mean, yeah. I'm, I don't know. I don't know why I haven't thought about that. But I could be here for that. Like, they hate each other, but then that hate... <sighs> fuels <laughs> like literally literally my and, my and um, isabel would totally over men for a while anyways yeah you know she'll like screw men freaking yeah. noah yes uh. that sounds amazing <laughs> oh my god that's like just saying it can happen that's my favorite trope <laughs> it's just like hate like love hate relationship yeah oh god which technically would be a classic Michael and Maria relationship because that's kind of how it was mm -hmm. you know because they didn't really play that off with this one I mean they had like the witty banter back and forth yeah but it was never yeah. like I hate you yeah it's like you you drive me crazy you know yeah. kind of a thing um whereas I could see that being like no I really hate you like you're such a bitch and it's like you're so beautiful la, 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 la. yeah I'm here for that <laughs> I'm here for that new ship yes new ship <laughs> yeah Make the, make it happen, season two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or make it happen next episode. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> God, love. love it. And now it's time for Roswell's very own Babe Watch. Mm, this week on Babe Watch, we are diving in to the dark side. And when I mean dark side, I mean the dark side of Max Evans. Because this week, you have to see him get 
all down and dirty, snarling, just like ready to frickin' kill someone. There's nothing sexier than a man that'll kill for you. Come on. Max this week is the babe of Baywatch. Sheila Bon Bon. Man. That was hard. Sheila be bye bye. Yeah. Sheila be bye bye. <laughs> Sheila bye bye. Sheila bye bye. <laughs> I mean, Sheila is, she's the only main character that was, like, new. Mm -hmm. So, it's kind of weird that she's leaving, because everyone else is, like, characters we already knew from the other show and everything, so she was kind of this good little little add-on. You know, she was cute the whole time. Now, obviously, her character said she's leaving, we don't necessarily know for sure. I was going to say, I don't know if Master Sergeant's going to let that happen so easily. Well, he's been, like... But Alex like sent him off. But I, do you think he's gonna stay away just because Alex sent him no, off? No, but I don't know. I'm more just he's like crazy. They've made it seem like it was pretty much done. I don't think so. I mean, I hope not. I think it'd be way more interesting if he is like involved and is continuing because he's scary. Yeah, for sure. So I hope he's not gone. But mm-hmm. it's just been it's been a while. He's but. he ends up running the special unit. I'd be here for that. Special unit season Spoilers. two. Spoilers. Yeah, I mean, seriously, if the special unit was in season two, guys, if you haven't seen the original, that will be so sick. You'll love it. I'd be here for that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'd be totally here for that. So I, if this is really the end of Sheila Bond Bond, I'm sad to see her go. I know. I know. And, um, and the fact, like, she basically told Max, hey, I love you and that's why I did all this for you. Yeah. And I know that you don't love me. And I think that's part, but I think that is also part of why she might actually be gone. I think that's part of why she wanted to leave. Yeah. Yeah, she must be with her sister, but also it's yes. painful. Yeah, for sure. It would be painful for her to be here when she feels that way about for Max. Sure. Yeah. So I think she might actually be gone. I don't know. We'll have to find out. We'll Google it. But see what that actress is doing. Yes. Yeah, but we'll miss you, Sheila, and your tequila. In your queso. And those three orgasms. And added on spin dip. And the spin dip. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We know she'd be a spin a spin dip girl. For sure. For, For sure. sure. We'll get it. we'll get you on a t shirt. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. And more Name of more. Sheila Bamba. <laughs> we can wear that next episode. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. So Noah was in the pod and he was able to psychically connect with Isabel when she was like getting attacked by that guy. Mm-hmm. And so by doing that, there was like a kind of a psychic break in her brain that he just chilled in for a while. Yeah. That's when her blackout started. So I think it basically was just, they were shown to be in close proximity. So I don't yes. know if it's sort of, with him, like his mind being just kind of like aware and if that was like his power anyway, yeah. maybe it was just he was just always kind of like seeking feelers out, like oh where how yeah because they all they all have different abilities like we the guy in the prison, the one that they were all trying to find or whatever he was able to just like make anyone have cancer, which we found out was how Kyle's dad got cancer. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so that's interesting. Yeah, that must be his ability. Yeah, mm-hmm. you can just kind of like reach out to people's minds and take them over. Um, so yeah, I. I didn't quite get how that got him out of the pod. Did someone like come out and get him? I don't know. Did they say? I feel like they kind of did, but it all happened really fast. I'm going to have to rewatch that because yeah. he was still in the pod when there was the whole Rosa thing because right. he was living through Isabel right. and having this relationship with Rosa. Maybe it was when Rosa or when Isabel was there. Maybe she like oh. got him out. Mm-hmm. Maybe it was like a mm-hmm. thing that he possessed her and had her get him out yeah it could be could be i don't know it's um yeah. it was very interesting yeah. Uh, yeah i'll definitely have to rewatch. but i also wonder if they weren't super big on the details because there's more next episode i feel like it's got yeah yeah i don't know i just don't know yeah we'll have more of the deets maybe yeah maybe who knows <laughs> that's, a, that's a good point yeah like, i don't maybe. know they might have said it but yeah i didn't quite get it but yeah I don't quite know how his... I guess it just kept him sane. 
he was able to like go into her head uh, more so than anything else because I'm like I don't really know he said it got him stronger because he could like he was killing things yes yes but Ro- Rosa was the first one huh okay is it that he killed Rosa and then that gave him the strength yes that's what it was that's you're what right it was. we got it we got it that's when you figure it out by killing yeah. people it makes them stronger blah 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 yeah. Oh, okay. there we go. Okay. Took a moment. Took a second. We got it. It came back. It came back. <sighs> Guys, we do our best. We do. You know, it's like right after. Yes. Like, we don't have time to like really soak this in. Yes. So. Hmm. We're doing our best. Uh, yeah. So that's how we did it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. God love Rosa. Gotta kill people. Gotta kill them. I saw if he loved Rosa, like seriously, why would you kill her? Like, I know he was like upset or whatever, but at the same time, like. Questions. Yeah. Questions. Wait. No. Rosa wasn't the first girl because he killed the other girls first. But. Right. But I, I'm just assuming through all of that. I mean, that's three kills within one night. Yeah. I'm sure that's still the same thing. But it yeah. was more like. I keep. I feel like they keep saying like that Rosa was the first kill. I'm like, she wasn't oh, really. Yeah, yeah. Technically, it's the, the girls because then that's when she was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Because he was like, look what I did for you. Yeah. Ah. Um. I didn't ask. This is not what I ordered. Yeah, exactly. I did <laughs> not sign up for this, sir. Okay. Um, take okay. it back to the kitchen. Yeah. Ill. Ill. Well, guys, next week, the season finale. Oh my God, I'm going to cry. I can't believe what it. What are we going to do for the rest of our lives? Oh, my God. Just, just wait for renewals. Come on, renew Roswell. Oh, is, there like a, is there a campaign or something? I, I've been seeing the hashtag around. So, oh, yeah? yeah? It's just like renew Roswell? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you tell us. You guys tell us what the hashtag is but so we yeah. can start tweeting on that. Yeah. Renew Roswell. Renew Roswell. That's what we're going to call this now. Roswell Ooh. recap, renew Roswell. Lots so, of yeah. R's. Yeah. We're all about the R's. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Let's get, let's get it renewed. Be back for season two. Let's see what else they have in store. Yes. Because they're There's laying so stuff out. There's so much. There's so much that we can do. And more Maria maybe next season. Definitely. <laughs> more Maria. Maybe some Isabel Maria. Maybe. More Malik. I'm here for that. Oh, yeah. Get some special unit. Oh, more. Uh, mm-hmm. am I, are you going to make me cry next episode? Is Malik, mm-hmm. do you think Malik's is just going to like mm-hmm. tear me up? More so than it already just did tonight. Girl, I don't know. That was intense. That was really intense. Especially it's looking like with Noah being on the run. Like, who knows what he'll do to, like, fuck with them. Listen. <laughs> Noah, I know where you live. I will find you, you, you think, alien. You think you're powerful? Deal with us. Listen. Mm. Mm. <laughs> exactly. Do you have any more touchy touchy now that Liz and Max are finally together? Right. Like, let's get on that. Yeah. Like, unless it's just one of those things where we're just missing it. They keep, everything happens off screen. Sure. They've already had They've... sex 12 times and they're exactly. pregnant. Exactly. Like... Exactly. <laughs> yeah, next episode, she's going to show up with like this baby bump. We'll be like, what happened? Yeah. I'd be like, oh yeah, we've been, you know, we've been doing that for a while. Yeah. It just happens oh, off screen. Okay. As that's cool. what, that's what happens on this show. Yeah. Oh, we've already told everyone about it. Like, it's fine. We're married, too. Work on this, oh. guys. Work on this for season two. Yeah. Things Please. to work on. You remember our list. We yeah. have a list. I mean, it's fine. It's been a fun time. We've been super enjoyed it, but we do have a list. We do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm excited. So we will be celebrating <sighs> next week. I'm super excited. And I believe this was another fantastic episode of Roswell Recap! Hey there, sci fi fans! Ooh, hello. You know what you need to do? You need to click to subscribe to our channel. That way you can catch us every Thursday for what? The Roswell Recap! Roswell Recap! We're going to dive into some of our favorite sci-fi television shows oh. and movies. What? And some that we've never seen before. Oh, Lord. 
you know that you guys can actually tweet us at Cafe Crashdown and let us know some of your favorite TV shows and movies that you recommend for us to break down. Mm -hmm. And after we watch them, we will either thank you for such a great pick or curse you for a shitty one. So recommend at Grum Risk. Mm. We will be live tweeting on Tuesdays. Yes. When we're watching Roswell, New Mexico on the CW. Yes. And you can catch us with the hashtag CW Roswell Recap. I'm sorry, wait, what did you say? The Roswell Recap! Roswell Recap! Roswell recap. Oh, oh, it's the Roswell See Recap! See you Thursday.